Just over a week after the Maple Leafs drafted Easton Cowan, he went to Toronto to participate in the Leafs development camp. When Toronto picked him with the 28th overall selection in the 2023 NHL draft, a lot of people were surprised and he might have been as well, but at the end of the day, he's happy with it. But when the 18 year old stepped up to speak to the media for the very first time in Toronto, it seemed like he was a lot older than just 18 years of age. You know, I think I'm a 200 foot player. I like to hound pucks and I like to use my you know, skating ability and my hockey sense to create plays all over the ice. And I like to lead on the ice and off the ice by example. This past season was Cowan's rookie year with the London Knights, and it's safe to say he got off to a slow start. He only had 23 points in his first 34 games with the Knights before going off on the back half of the season, scoring 30 points in the final 34 games of the year. And that strong finish allowed Easton Cowan to play in the playoffs for the London Knights, playing 20 of 21 games, scoring 9 goals and 12 assists. So he started off slow and ended off really strong. How did did that come? I thought my confidence just kept getting better. Uh, you know, you learn to play the defense and then, uh, you know, if you have a good defense, it will lead to offensive chances there. So uh, I felt like, you know, my coaches gained trust in me and I kind of took that opportunity and ran away with it. And all that success led to him being drafted 28th overall by the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's something he'll remember forever, but uh, there was an instance after he was drafted that he will definitely never forget. He got a lot of texts, and as you might know, he received a FaceTime from Mitch Marner, but a few of those texts, aside from Marner, were a few people you might know. Yeah, uh, Morgan Riley, John Tavares, uh, Nazem Kadri, and then Mitch Marner FaceTime me there, so. You know, lots of great players, and obviously, you know, they're a bunch of great leaders, so I really look up to that. But as you may already know, both Marner and Nazem Kadri, before playing for the Maple Leafs, played for the London Knights, like Cowan, and it's Kadri who the 18-year-old really wants to model his game around. Yep, yeah. uh, maybe, yeah, uh, maybe a bit there, and I also try to play like him, so yeah. uh, I thought the text he sent was pretty funny, and uh, it's something I won't forget ever. All of this is a first for Cowan, getting drafted, going to an NHL development camp, but the 18-year-old isn't interested in letting it any of it fly by. Each and every day, take it, you know, take it slow by by the ice session, by the stuff you're learning. So uh, I really want to get better. Obviously, that's my goal. You know, get bigger and stronger and faster for next year. So I'm gonna take it slow and really, you know, get into detail there and really see what's up. Cowan's first name, which is Easton, isn't an ordinary name you hear, and that's because his parents, both Chris and Heather, actually named him after the hockey equipment company Easton. Yeah, you might have heard that fact. That's a true fact. Uh, it's pretty cool. Obviously, you know, my parents named me after that. And, you know, I love the game, so uh, it's pretty cool. My name's Easton, and uh, yeah. But that is it for this video. If you did enjoy this sort of little content on development camp and you want to see more videos like this, put it in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like as well. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. There is a lot of this written work on the hockey news. I'll link down below where you can find all of that. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.